Hey guys, I'm Eddie, and this is a great time to challenge Webby to some cash show. Oh, hey, how's it going? Just about to play cash show trivia on my phone against Eddie. He was unsuccessful at beating me at HQ. He thinks he can beat me at cash show. Let's see how it goes. So what we are about to play now is a game called Cash Show. It's another phone trivia app similar to HQ. I'm not really sure which one came first. I'm not sure if this was first or HQ, but we're going to give it a shot. Yeah, the jury's still out for me whether I like this one or HQ better. I think I'm leaning towards this one, but maybe I'll give a little bit more of an opinion after we play this round. Three, two, one. And here we go. It's cash show time. And they have another countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Cash show. Some nice awkward silence here. Hello there, welcome Hello there. to another episode of The Cash Show. It is so good to see you. You good look to see fantastic. You too. Hopefully you feel as good as you look. And are you feeling lucky? Yep. Because this- Now for anybody that has not played this game before, one pretty annoying thing is they do this exact same intro every single time. Questions and all, and that money goes right to- It's quick account. though. No muss, no fuss, very easy, very fun. Here's how the game works. It is quicker. They get to the point quicker, which I do appreciate. Prize questions. You get through all the non-prize questions to the prize question rounds. That's where you start seeing that. But one thing I like about HQ, I like the fact that it's different every night. If the regular host is gone, they have a guest host filling in. That's what it's all about. Now, I'm going to give you some tips. I feel like it's more entertaining. A little bit closer, just because I don't want you to miss this. You can get extra lives by inviting your family and friends but i do appreciate how this game the more people gets straight to the point the more lives yeah i agree get. It's just that easy and, you know, with hq i feel like sometimes they go on a little too long and it's like all right guys, let's let's get into the action here that's what it's all about yeah. right here on the cash show so don't forget to turn on your push notifications please spread the word about turning on the push notifications because you know what let's face it if you don't know, we're here. Uh, yeah, I definitely like the host from HQ a little better, though. I mean, this guy's not bad. I think the other ones just, just they're a little bit better. Answering trivia questions. Are you ready? Yeah. I know I am. Let's get started. Here we go. Humoro, numero uno. Who is the wife of Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, Julie Gates, Kathy Gates, Melinda Gates? I do not know this one. I'm taking a guess already on question one. Wow. This could be a short game. I'm eliminated already. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you still in I'm it? I'm still in it. I knew that one. <laughs> oh man. You don't have any. Uh... Well, I don't. I uh, don't know enough about the Gates family, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, and uh, on that note, let's finish. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> Who is the president of North Korea? Ji Chi, Pak Pong Jo, Kim Jong Un. Now this one I know. Even if the name hey. Kim Jong-un does not ring a bell to you, you probably know a little bit about this gentleman. He has had beef with world leaders. He is a little bit younger than your typical world leader, and he has a very interesting haircut. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> what kind of tree is Los Angeles known for? Palm trees, eucalyptus trees, cherry blossoms. I know this one too. Yeah, I think I got this right. You can take the All right. In Los Angeles or Beverly Hills. I cannot believe I got out on question one. one. But I feel like that wasn't like a super obvious one. Like, not that spark of excitement. But palm trees. Did you did you know that one pretty easily? The, about the city. The Bill Gates wife yep. question. Yep, I did. Hmm. Why did O.J. Simpson serve nine years in a Nevada prison? Parole violation, tax evasion, robbery. I know this one too. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, yeah. all right. I kind of guessed on that one. I remember there was a whole thing that went down in a hotel room, but I actually thought it was because he he had like a gun on someone. But maybe I have that story all messed up in my head. Who knows? Yeah, I do remember the robbery story. If I remember correctly, it was like uh, he was trying to get back some Which of these is a name from a familia of his? Mr. Nobody, John Doe. Wow. I feel like these questions have gotten easier. Yeah. Yeah, I have known every one of these questions other than the first one. John Doe is a universal term for someone whose identity is not known. If you are in a middle school play and you are tree number three, then you are tree number three, not a John Doe. So one cool thing about this game is now every question after this one is going to be worth money. Mm. I've been playing this game for a couple weeks and so far I've, I've racked up a grand total of 34 cents. Light in. Exposure hole. Aperture. I think I got it right. Yeah, this is a good one for us with our knowledge of cameras. Mm -hmm. All right, here is the yep. extent of my photography knowledge. If you want to take a picture of something, have the camera facing that direction. That's number one. Number two, too much light, bad. Too little light, bad. Yeah, well, good job. But because there's too many people still in the game, you did not earn any money because the prize would have been less than one cent per person. Pole mithril, carbonite, polymers. You got this one, don't you? I think so. There yeah. Are types of plastics, and you learn nice. that right. Go try to recycle your plastics. <laughs> the prize is still lower than one cent per winner, so the prize will be rolled over to the next question. There's also a lot less people playing this game. I'm not sure if you noticed, but at the moment, 69.4 thousand. Normally, at this point, there would easily be over half a million in HQ. I'm going to guess on this one. Yeah, this one's not obvious to me. I, I have an idea of who I think it is. Nope. I guessed Whitney Houston. It, it, oh, I would have guessed James Brown, but it doesn't matter because I was out of the game. Hey, I got three cents. I'm rich. Nice. Yeah. Well, I hate to admit it, but Eddie was the better man tonight at Cash Show. I got eliminated on the very first stupid question. I can't believe it. We're tied now, though, because you won HQ. Now I've won Cash Show. We are tied. So it sounds like we're going to have to do this again. Maybe a best out of five, best three out of five, maybe best five out of seven. Who knows? I choked on the first question. I can't believe it. I'm very upset with myself. Very upset. Very poor showing on the part of Webby tonight. Yeah, this is a legitimate victory for me tonight. And trivia is really a reflection of how good you are as a person at life. So I pretty much won life today. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think you got lucky. Um, I just, I gotta, apparently I gotta brush up on my knowledge of the uh, billionaires' yeah. families and their spouses' names and stuff Definitely like that. Definitely important. I mean, come on, who knows Bill Gates' wife? I feel like a majority of our, a majority of our millions of viewers probably don't know who Bill Gates' wife is. I mean, I'm sure there are some that know, but I, I feel like a good majority do Well, the, the vast majority playing the game got it right, so I don't know if that's really true, to be honest with you. So what do you think? Let's talk about our opinions on this game versus HQ. Yeah, so I have a couple opinions. I like the fact that you can win money even in very small increments. Although we're talking about pennies, I think it's nice to be able to see that, right? It's fun to know that I won three cents tonight and that I can cash that in and... Um, do nothing with it. But it's still kind of cool to know where I feel like with HQ, you didn't win money until you got to big, big prize amounts. Maybe it means that with Cash Show, you're less likely to win the big prizes, but I still think it's fun to be able to get in there and earn a few cents here and there. It makes me want to come back and, and play it. Yeah, I agree. Like you said, even though there's like only pennies that you win, it still it still makes me feel good. You win something. Now, is this live like HQ or is, is this just pre-recorded stuff? It's pre-recorded stuff, but, I mean, everybody that's playing the game is playing it live. But that brings me to another point where uh, the thing I like about HQ better is I like that the whole thing is done live. And I kind of like, sometimes they have technical issues on HQ, and I kind of like to, I like seeing how they handle it. Whereas if this show ever has a technical issue, it just kind of glitches out or freezes, um, you they don't tell you what's going on if there's technical issues like they do on HQ. Um, so I, 
Overall, like as far as entertainment value, I definitely prefer HQ. Yeah, I think I would agree with you there. I think from an entertainment and kind of like a really cool, unique, new, modern way of playing games from your phone, HQ still wins for me. But I actually think though that if I'm just gonna randomly play this game when a notification pops up and I had to pick between the two, I think I would pick Cash Show. Yeah, I, I mean, there are definitely pros and cons to both. Um, I, I really like how Casio is straight to the point. It's more just like, let's get started, let's play the game, this is what it is. Um, I do appreciate that. Um, so as far as that goes, if I'm, yeah, if I'm just looking for a, a trivia fix and want to get a quick game in, Casio for sure. If I want to be a little more entertained while I play, then HQ for sure. And if you guys are wondering what video we're referring to with HQ, we'll go ahead and put a link up here or over here, or maybe it's on Webby's screen. It'll either be there or over there, depending on what we feel like doing with the video. I don't really know. I can't, I don't know where I'm at right no, now. Me neither. But we'll click click somewhere up here above our heads. Yeah, we're, uh, we're tied. We definitely need to do a tiebreaker at some point. But I guess the next question is, do we do our tiebreaker on HQ or Cash Show? Mm, or something completely different. Go ahead and throw it in the comments below. Throw it in the comments below, guys. If you want to see us compete in something else that we can record and show, throw it down there. We'd love to hear your ideas and hear from the Eddie and Webby family. Yeah, whatever whatever you guys pick. If you want, to, want us to play Cash Show again, we'll do that. If you want us to play HQ again, we'll do that. If you want something totally different. Like sword fighting. Legitimate, like sword fight. I think that would be a good one. It all depends on what our, what our viewers say. If that's what you guys want, so be it. Cool. All right, I think we're good. Until next time, I'm Eddie. And this is Webby, not Eddie, signing off.